Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Ether, where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have basically been trading sideways the last, uh, basically, the last three days. We fell. Uh, this was basically on Tuesday, ra rallied on Wednesday, and today we are basically broken down yet again and are down roughly 1%. We're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average, right, basically right in the middle of nowhere, a uh, terrible place to basically be in order to enter this market. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around, so momentum is to the downside. We'll find uh, support down here at uh, 4,887. If that breaks, then we could go all the way down to the 50 moving average and we have the 4000 level here just as well and that will probably attract a lot of buyers but at this current stage uh, we'll probably have a pullback before going higher towards a 4250 and to a 4500 so let's look at uh, the dow jones very similar here in the Dow Jones, rallied on Tuesday, no, uh, broke down on Tuesday, rallied on Wednesday, and then we broke down yet again today, and we're down roughly 1%. Also trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. If that breaks, then we could open the door to the very uh, bottom here with the bullish band, or roughly 33,000. Technically, the they are all turning around and are bearish at this current stage. So if this breaks, then we could pull back. And as you can see, these pullbacks have basically been buying opportunities in the past. So long-term target here is probably 35,000. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq has also broken down. It's very similar pattern here. We're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. As long as this holds, then it will probably uh, rally towards the upside. But if the 20 ex exponential breaks, then we could head all the way down to the 50 down here at the 13,300. Technically, the others there have all just started to turn around and become bearish. They were, all of them are bearish. So you can see that there's a crossing here of the MACD, and that is usually not a very good sign. So if the 20 exponential breaks, then we have the 50 and the very bottom of the bullish band. We also have this uh, previous highs here, which are right at the 50. So pullbacks towards 50, that will probably um, attract a lot of attention from buyers. Long-term target here is 14,500 or 15,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So as you can see, we have created this uh, fairly terrible looking candlestick. Uh, it's basically at the end of the US session. And uh, this is not a very good look for the German DAX. If we break below the 20 exponential, we could open the door to the very bottom here at 13,700 give or take. And that's probably as far as this will basically go. So we are still finding major support at the 20 exponential at the middle of the plunge band. But um, if this breaks, then we could see this drop significantly further. Otherwise, technical indicators there are kind of mixed. MACD, stochastic are bearish. So the CCI is bullish and the RSI is technically flat at this current stage. But this should find a lot of attention just at the middle of the bullish band, also at the very bottom. And uh, most likely long-term target here is 16,000. So let's look at a UK 100. And as you can see, very similar here. We did rally yesterday and then broke down yet again today. Technical indicator for this uh, uh, indice is far more bearish than, for example, the Na for DAX. Uh, but uh, if we break below the middle here, we could that could open the door to the 50, down here 6,746. And considering that these technical indicators are very bearish at this point, um, it it's very likely that if this breaks, that we'll fall down to those levels before going back towards 7,000 uh, or probably also 7,500. So let's look at China. Oh, sorry. Yes, China. So as you can see, we did rally yesterday and then we broke down again yet again today. So there is not a lot of momentum to the upside in this indice. So we did rally here up towards the top of the bullish band and broke down all the way to the bottom. Now we're testing the middle of the bullish band and we're finding major resistance here. Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this point. 
So we need uh, basically a breakout from the 50 moving average or a break down below the uh, 200 moving average in order to see where we're technically going. Otherwise, it can go either way. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.